So let's find out some stuff about our original line. We want to find its slope using our formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is the change in y over the change in x. So just plug in stuff in. I got minus 6a minus a minus 4a all over a minus 3 minus a minus 3. Cleaning that up, I've got negative 2a all over a. A's will cancel, give me a slope of negative 2. So I've got the slope of my original line. It'd be nice to know the y-intercept as well. So let's find that. Um, we know we have the formula y equals mx plus b. And I can use either point I want to find out what b is. Um, so choose your favorite point. I'll try this one here. So when x is negative 3, y is negative 4a, and our slope is negative 2. So there's just one unknown, and we'll find that. So just plug in and chug in the y is negative 4a, it'll equal negative 2 times negative 3 plus b. So negative 4a equals 6 plus b. So negative 4a minus the 6 equals b. So we have our slope as negative 2 and our y-intercept as negative 4a for our original line. And now for this new line that they want the equation of, Every time you write an equation of a line, you need a slope. Uh, well, so our slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of this slope because they said they were perpendicular and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So we'll take this negative 2, think of it as 2 over 1, so flip it over 1 half, and since that's negative, this will be positive. So our line has a slope of a half. And it says it has the same y-intercept, so its y-intercept is going to be the same one as the original, so negative 4a minus 6. And so once we have the slope and the y-intercept, we can just plug that into our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So y will equal 1 half x minus 4a minus 6, and that is our answer.